What's the worst case of rich kid syndrome that you've ever seen? I used to work with someone who proclaimed to be an environmentalist. She was very preachy. Once I had a can of coke on my desk. She said, you're going to recycle that, right? She used her father's personal jet all the time. Once, just to fly from NYC to Boston to see a baseball game. A girl I went to school with crashed and totaled six cars in three years and her parents continued buying her better newer cars cause every accident wasn't her fault and if she had stuff like a backup camera and sensors they wouldn't have happened. She got into a fender bender in the school parking lot and her dad showed up with a wad of cash and paid the other student off. Former friend stamping her foot and crying because dad sold the jet and I have to take a commercial flight to our ranch. Influencer wondering why other people in their home country don't spend their life traveling like them. Not me, but a friend of mine was an assistant trainer at a Panera store. They hired a teenager who was only working there to meet people, and one day had a group leave a huge mess in the dining room. Apparently the teen turned to my friend and said should we get the help to clean that? And my friend had to explain that they were the help. He apparently quit not long after. I was complaining about having to clear off my car from the foot of snow we'd gotten. Guy at work told me there's no way I had to clean off my car. I definitely did and it took a long time. Well then, it's your own fault for not parking in the garage. I don't have a garage. Everyone has a garage. I'm like, look out the window next time you are driving. A senior rich kid in my high school was driving his dad's Jaguar when his buddy asked him what would happen if he threw into reverse at 60 miles per hour. So they tried it and essentially blew the transmission and the motor up. A few months later he got a Porsche for Christmas. Had a guy work for me in the military. He thought he didn't have to do anything because his parents would just call their friends. He ended up getting kicked out for LSD and cocaine use. The piece of shit claiming affluenza comes to mind. Had a friend post about how soft their generation was. Meanwhile, parents paid for private school, private university definitely got in BC they wrote a check, he's not that smart, his car, all his vacations, his mansion on the water, and their company gave his spouse a job. LMAO. Has not earned a single dollar in his life. Edit this person is 27. Therapist once asked me how much money I spent on clothes each year. I told her about 100-200, depending on the year and what was needed. Her response was you can't even get one dress for 100 then proceeded to tell me that maybe I didn't value myself enough. All I was thinking was this bitch has never been to Tchmax. Some girl in my college classes was genuinely shocked there were students who had to take out loans because their parents couldn't afford to pay 65k a year for tuition. I have a lot of extended family out in California who I've never met, but I sometimes hear stories from my parents who keep in touch with a few relatives out there. One of my distant cousins, who was like 17 at the time, intentionally totaled the new BMW his parents bought him because he wanted a Mercedes instead. Can't remember if they ended up buying him that Mercedes or not, but they probably did. Sadly. When I was in elementary school, this kid lived in the only gated community in the area, and the houses were all mansions. He was telling me a story about his tennis court in his courtyard. I said, wait, you have a tennis court at your house? He looked genuinely shocked, and responded with, you don't blew my mind as a little kid who had to share a room with my single mom lol. Rich dude in my HS chemistry class flat out asked how big of a check his dad could write to get him out of taking a major test. He was serious. Nothing happened to him. I had a roommate who would cook huge meals and destroy the kitchen. She would eat her meal and head to her room. A couple hours later she'd come out and be fully pissed off that the kitchen was still a mess. She'd had servants most of her life and was now on her own. There was a guy I went to high school with whose parents bought him a brand new Cadillac for his 16th birthday. 
He crashed it a week later in a drunk driving accident, and so they bought him a replacement. He never got in trouble with the law or so he claimed very loudly at lunch while bragging about his second new car so I can only assume money changed hands. An extremely wealthy girlfriend of my friend asked me what my favorite Spanish island that I visited as a child is. I told her I never got to go on a family trip, let alone to a Spanish island. Ethan Couch, killed four people, for people, and got 10 years probation but then he messes that up and it turned into him being in Mexico with his mom, violating probation. He only served a total of 720 days in jail, he is free today. Absolutely disgusting. I was in a mental hospital with a girl who was about to get released, but fucked it up because when her mom came for visitation she told her she wouldn't buy the girl's boyfriend best friends each and I put touch. The girl yelled that her dad would and threatened to pour acid in her mom's face for being a broke bitch the girl was 12 or 13 her dad was rich but the whole reason she was in the hospital was for attacking her dad's stepmom I don't know fully what happened. Becoming Prime Minister of the United Kingdom while being horrifically underqualified. Having no sense of what's expensive and what's not x you can spend 120 on shoes, it's not that expensive. I knew a 17-year-old in Santa Monica whose dad was a county judge. He drove a perfectly restored and beefed up 70s Camaro. It was his third one, having totaled two already. He'd drive 100 miles per hour through downtown streets, while drunk and high. He got tickets every week. All of them got thrown out. Newly married neighbor decided to sell his sports car because a baby was coming. A dad bought it for his teenage son. Picked it up at 8 p.m., kid rolled it by midnight. Was at a wedding sitting around a table of rich kids in their late 20s discussing what they wanted to do the following weekend. I thought they would be talking about what bar or club to go to but all of their suggestions were along the lines of Colorado, Vegas, Chicago, New York etc. Brock Turner the Rapist The Fort Worth affluenza kid who killed all those people. XBF came from a rich family. They bought him a car. It was a used car but nice. He didn't like the car so he got his best friend to steal it, drive the shit out of it, parts it, and then leave it in a ditch. Made it look like a real stolen car situation. He wanted insurance to pay out to get a different car. Car was found a few days later by the police but he definitely got his wish and his parents got him a different car. Knew a kid in college who called Highland Park the ghetto unironically. He lived there. It's one of the richest if not the richest town in the DFW Metroplex. He would get tickets to see Notre Dame play and fly back to college in Texas. Same kid once pulled out a second MacBook in class then the other rich kid he was sitting with said oh my god you have a second MacBook. I can't lie, I do too. Both of them were insufferable. I used to work for a billionaire. His only son died of cancer at man was a saint. His three adopted all been in and out of rehab and are total shitbags. The one kid went partying with a co-worker. Said co-worker ODD in his car and he tried to have to tote somewhere with the corpse still inside his sleeping. A 10th grader spilled nail polish in her purse and started screaming in the middle of class that it was a 4,000 bag and her dad wasn't going to buy her another new one. First of all, don't be trying to paint your nails in English class. Second, so this is not the first designer bag you ruined by being a careless dolt. Excuse me while I continue along teaching Frederick Douglass because some people have real problems. Once I was explaining to my college roommate how I was working overtime so I could afford airfare back home for the holiday break. Later that day she had a meltdown because her parents told her they were going to Cancun for Christmas but we went to Cancun last year. To put it bluntly. For you and me there are fines and penalties, whereas to them is only costs. Example park where you shouldn't, 80, which viewpoint cost 80, to park here. Run a red light, 240, fine or just to ignore traffic laws or maybe rape your three-year-old daughter and the judge says, well you are too rich to spend time in jail, 
looking at you DuPont. Let's get real here. There has always been a threshold where justice ends and money makes that that threshold. This is secondhand, but a co-worker of mine used to work as a nanny to an extremely wealthy family in LA. The oldest daughter would drive her car around until it ran out of gas, then call home for a driver to come get her. She'd leave the car wherever it was and the help would have to fill up the car and drive it home for her. This happened regularly. Brock Turner's mommy writing a letter to the court saying that it was a travesty her rapist kid couldn't enjoy steak anymore. There was a kid at my uni that saw every fine as just a price. My cousin went to a wealthy high school. This bitch complained to me, a poor child that her dumb parents got her a Cadillac for her first car instead of a Mercedes like all the other kids had. My sister-in-law recently had a major screaming match with her parents because they are paying for the entire family to vacation in Las Vegas this year and she wanted to go on a tropical vacation. A woman I know, her and her husband had their huge two-story 10-bedroom house relocated to a town 25 miles away. They had to close down two towns' main streets to do it. I asked her how much it costs, she said at least 1000 Brock Allen Turner. Now known as Allen Turner, the Stanford swimmer who sexually assaulted an unconscious woman behind a dumpster and got barely a slap on the wrist. He resides in his rich parents' house in Dayton, Ohio. Once knew a kid who got a nice car for his 16th birthday but he wanted a Camaro. He parked his car on the train tracks, claimed it stolen, thinking his parents were going to buy him that Camaro to replace it. Thankfully, his dad bought him a Schwinn. My soon-to-be former roommate landlord is a rich kid and has no concept of how hard it is to find a job, place to live, or even an affordable meal in this economy. Always demanding we clean the entire house for them while they don't lift a finger. Has friends over all the time but gets annoyed when I bring people over. Always accusing us of stealing. I'm going with my best friend's older sister. Best friend doesn't care for materialistic shit or her rich upbringing, sister a different story. One day, we asked her to pick us up a rotisserie chicken. She came back upset, without chicken, she couldn't understand why it was so cheap. According to her, it should have been 40. She thought something was wrong with it for being 7 foot. My sibling pitching a total fit outside the house they live in for free because our elderly parents came over to take care of the lawn. Went to school with a ton of rich kids, most were nice but they never really understood why your parents can just buy this or do this. They always had good intentions and were curious, I was happy that they never grew up knowing the answers to the whys. I went to a HS filled with children of celebs, C-suites, models, etc. I was maybe the only poor person. There might have been a few others who dropped out cause they couldn't stand the culture. These kids ran the school. They got teachers fired. In one year, I had nine chemistry teachers. In other words, I damn near failed the state exams due to having zero actual instruction. There's no way I can say I beat them in success unless I build a 100M business on my own, that's how incredible it is to be a rich kid. Dude offered me 900 to punch a stranger because he thought it would be funny. I said no, and he was so confused why I wouldn't because he could hand me the money right away. Brock Turner's dad claiming him brutally raping a girl who was unconscious was a 20 minutes of action and expecting that to help his sentencing be more lenient. Pathetic. I spend time in Mexico each winter. There are a lot of rich kids there Mexican and American where I live. I have Mexican friends who interact with these kids. My friends tell me that it is not uncommon for these kids to contact their parents for money and be wired 10,000 or more. This is for a week.